Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so it says in 2013, approximately 1.6 million students took the critical reading portion of the SAT exam. The mean score, the modal score, and the standard deviation were calculated to be 496, 430, and 115 respectively, which interval reflects 95% of the critical reading scores. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna label what they're telling us. They're telling us that uh, the mean is 496. So the mean equals 496. And we're told that the mode is the next number, 430. Mode is 430. And finally, standard deviation is 115. So standard deviation is 115. Which interval reflects 95% of the critical reading score? So this is based on a normal curve. And the idea is that if you have a normal curve, um, it looks something like this, maybe a little bit too steep there. But the idea is that this center point right here is the mean. And the distance from the mean is counted in standard deviation. So here it says one standard deviation two standard deviations, this is not at all the scale. In the other direction, negative one standard deviation, negative two standard deviations. And um, if you, if, even from my terrible sketch right here, you can see that from one standard deviation, we capture a really large part of your data, about 68%. But from two standard deviations, we capture all of this stuff here, right? Everything is about 95% of all your data. So, and that's what this, this critical 95% interval is talking about here. We've got our mean, 496, that's our middle point, plus or minus two standard deviations. So, because we have to go in both directions here. And that's 496 plus 2 times 115 is 496 plus 230. All right, I hope that helped.